Scotch for Dummies. Scotch Jeremy for Dummies. and I. Here yes, we are. we are here. We got a good one. <laughs> we do got a good one. We stumbled on something um, that was uh, left over from a while ago, uh, the Whiskey Expo, yeah. and excited Whiskey to finally get to Expo. it. Um, actually, well, I don't think we've ever reviewed it. Before. I was just going to say, this yeah. has been around for a long time. We've seen it in liquor stores. Yeah. I've, I, I swear we had a bottle one time, but I don't think we got around to doing it. I think it. we just drank the whole thing and never reviewed it. I know, right? So it's, it our, happens. First, it's our first it Glen Murray. I think this is our right. first Glen Murray. Mm -hmm. We're starting uh, out with and Yeah, we are yeah. starting at So it's, a, it's an 18, Glen Murray 18. Um, Elgin Heritage. I'm not sure if that means anything as far as if they've got other 18s. I didn't see any, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. Right. So no. comment, correct me um, if I'm wrong. It does say non-chill filter, but it doesn't say a natural coloring. So I can't imagine. They have a splash. can't imagine they put some, but who knows. 47.2% um, ABV. What's the price point on that? Around 75, 80 bucks. Yep. 75 or 80 dollars, folks. That's pretty good for an 18. For an 18. For, an 18. for a yeah. statement, <clears throat> right? Um, what's it going to be like? Well, We're they're saying out. light, light. It's very light. It's the whole point of this heritage or something Before about this. light and lavender, lavender and uh, soft uh, herbal. and herbal. So. You know, right, before anybody grabs it, we, we're a little bit short here, so I'm going to... Well, let's, let's talk about where it's from. So it's a space side. Northern space, I mean, up right. there. Yeah. And uh, so this On is... On the coast. This is done in First Fill American Oak. So it's going to get a lot of that... 18 right. years in First Fill Oak. Right. Oh. Bourbon-y character about it. You're going to get vanilla, vanilla notes. Vanilla right. And, right. Yeah, and, and it will have probably some oak character about it. Um, you know, first fill is going to impart a lot more flavor than, uh, yeah. you know, a refill barrel. According to that map, I, this is about as far northern of a space side as you're ever going to get. Yeah. Throw a rock well, and yeah. you're out of space. It's like <laughs> throw a rock and you're in the water. <laughs> yeah. That to me, that to me. Moray first yeah. is where yeah. you would yeah. be. But I don't What's know. the river called? It's right next to the river. I can't remember. Dallas Moore is where it, Dallas no, it, Dallas Moore is where it draws its water source, but it was a different river that yeah. you named Lassie or something like Lassie. that? Yeah, Lassie is um, it's, it's so close. It's supposed to be more humid and warmer, so it helps mature the scotch in the barrels or something. So, as all Of, of all, the, all right. the, the distilleries that we've researched, try to give a little background on it. It's actually kind of young. It was uh, established in 1897. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hung around for about 13 years and then kind of went silent in 1910 through the 20s. Mm -hmm. um, and then it, it spun back up. The, some French companies, right? Yeah, um, it's gone. Over the last couple, I'd say over the last 20 years, there's been a couple different yeah. purchase and acquisitions. Glenn Orangy had some say-so in this for a while. Okay. Right, so it was Louis Vuitton. Yep. Yeah, Moet and... Uh, Hennessy. Yeah, and Hennessy. In 04, and then some other French 09. company picked it up in 08, I think. So I'm mm -hmm. not sure. It's been around the block yeah. a little bit. You know, it, it's had a run, so... <clears throat> I, you know, I'm kind of anxious to see since it's had several owners, even over the course of the 18 years that it was in this barrel. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. point. You know, I, how they, those different companies would have what they did you know, to it. Yeah. What, was there consistency in the barrel management and you know in the in the juice or you know did it get a little bit you know well change no yep. so, so, in, so. In, in full disclosure I will say at the Whiskey <clears throat> Expo this year I stopped by their table and I'm pretty sure I sampled this um, and actually I know I sampled at least one scotch at the Glen Murray table can't promise you it was this one and I was actually pleasantly surprised because mm -hmm. I've never had one before I always just passed it on the shelf because I don't know any better and you know, so let's give this thing an honest shot and see very what happens, light. right? It's very light on the nose. And to yeah. be fair, uh, we were lucky enough to have the ambassador. Yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah, so yeah. so yeah. if you uh, get a chance, go back and check out the Whiskey Expo interview that we did with her. Yeah. Um, oh, it, it was a good time. Yeah, it she's was a very, very good time. knowledgeable lady. Yeah, she's fun to talk to. She definitely enjoys what <clears> she's doing. Who wouldn't? She's got right. a great job. Um, this is I'm very, jealous. very light on the nose, guys. Yep. I mean, I got a lot of floral going on. Yeah, it's got it's got that space side floral oh, fruity no, yeah, it characteristic is about it. Very airy and light. Forty-seven point something, right? Forty-seven two, I think. But something. this is kind of what I was expecting with this one, to be notes. honest with you. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of lavender and stuff. No, like there's that. not a whole lot of alcohol. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it is definitely I tell you what, lavender. Seventy-five bucks 41. for an eighteen-year forty-seven point two. It does not smell. And it's forty-seven percent, eighty bucks for forty-seven. I mean that that. Dude, you pay eighty dollars. The numbers, the numbers add up with. correctly to like, wow, this is a, a good deal. Let's let's see what happens with the palate here in a second. The nose mm -hmm. is not bad. I mean, it's it's a space side, a nice light. I think uh, it's a floral space. Very side. fair representation of the space side. If you just close mm -hmm. your eyes and say, what's the space supposed to smell like? 
Yeah. That's pretty no good. No sulfur I'm, whatsoever. Right. I'm, I'm ahead of you guys. I know. Yeah, I'm <laughs> you always are. I know. Butterscotch. I'll tell you what. Mm. It, you can taste the alcohol when you take a sip, but it's not on the nose anywhere at all. The nose right. is very well, pleasant. We gotta, I mean, it is 47, so we have to let it give it, give it a second to maybe a second drink. Oh, yeah. So I got some cereal. Like That's the first thing that t hit my palate was grain, and then it... Then it turned into butterscotch and yeah, I got, yeah. I got bread. Yeah, yeah. I don't have butterscotch, but I have I have bread, um, cinnamon. Would um, it be fair to say buttered bread? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah. but, but bread. What about butter toast? No, no butter toast. No butter. No toast. butter toast. It's definitely a light tasting scotch. It's. But it's got that heat at first. I'm, I'm waiting to see Man, what happens here with a little water. I, I'm kind of curious about the water because it, it's a, such a light glass that it's either going to, if it holds up to the, a little bit of water, I think it'll be really, really nice. But it, it's got a lot of I light say flavors the going is, on. It's very short. I've got nothing on the finish, really. It's. Oh, I mean, it's how many sips have you taken? One. Well, you need to give it a couple. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's got a, a little bit of a lingering quality, just I think because of the higher alcohol content. It's, it, it's almost turning it's, into uh, a bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it sticks around for a little bit, but it's such a light flavor that, you know, you're, you're going to have to struggle a little bit, I think, to figure out what that... Yeah. What that finishing flavor is all about. I think the key here is really is the palate. What are you What are you going for when you're buying this type of bottle, right? What's your palate, right? And so far, it's that very light, fruity, uh, florally type scotch. If you like that Citrusy type of scotch, a little bit. This is so far in that little bit. House. I mean, to me, this is a prototypical Speyside scotch. Right. You know, when I think Spey, I'm thinking, you know, it's a it's a lighter, fruitier style of of production over there and this is exactly what yeah. you're getting in this glass. I'm actually very happy that they bottled it at a higher ABV. I think they that that, that did well by this sketch. Yep. Where's that water? Okay. That's why I'm worried about putting water on it. I am too a little bit, but you know what? We've had scotches in the past where we put a little water on and it ended up honey. helping it really? and we didn't think yeah. it would. So yeah. lots of honey. I'm not getting no. much on it at all. I got honey, a little bit um, of spice, uh, cinnamon. Um, I don't know if I'm doing this justice and fairness because of the amount of alcohol we drank last night. What is that? Um, I don't know. There's something else, too, uh, um, in the palate. I'm not, I can't make it out yet. It's, I think it's, it's the bread maybe overpowering. Well, it's got that malty characteristic, but I get that butterscotch sweet. It's... I don't get nearly as much vanilla as I anticipated. No, no not at all. I don't have any vanilla. For being exactly. first fill American oak, right? And that's a, and that's the thing. I don't even really get any oak characteristic out of it for 18 years in the barrel. Maybe a hint of the aftertaste. That's yeah, that's the thing. Not so my, the finish on mine is a little bit like a bourbon. It's kind of it's not it's definitely not oaky, but it's kind of a sweet and maybe a little bit of leather. I mean, I, I always have a hard time finding with that with that. Bourbon finishes. Mm. The water did not. I tell you what. Really. No, it, it didn't kill the nose at all. It actually made the nose yeah. a little. Oh, I'm getting more open yeah. nose. Now. I'm getting less it, it, herbals now. No, yeah. it, it doesn't. It's not as light and airy. It's a heavier smell. Yeah. yeah. It actually you brings out a little bit of more of that bourbon esque quality. You get a little bit more of the oak. Yep. Yeah, it's more meaty. The, there might be a little hint of vanilla in there now too. That's yeah, really you gotta search for it though. It's yeah, it's not. It's not. <laughs> you know, I'm heavy. digging in there trying to find that sweet spot. Yeah, there it is. It, it really didn't hurt it at all. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm, I like the water right up front there. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's sweeter. Um, a little mm. toffee almost. I tell you. I gotta say that that, that might have bumped it a half a point for me. Yeah, that uh, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, I, 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 that that was worth yeah. it. That was worth the the, the drop. There's, and that's there's good. That's the oak fine. Too, by the way, I got the oak coming now. Yeah, it's so crazy. There's a, a couple, couple drops, drops of water, water. like it flips the scotch. Well, and I, I think and that for a good way. the little bit higher alcohol content was probably masking a little bit of those flavors too. So I'm like, really excited that it held up to it because I wasn't sure that it was going to at all. Total experiment, but it worked out okay. The nose is so much better. Now maybe it's because it aired out, maybe it's because of the water, but it's it's just... There's more to it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's... <sighs> nose is much better now. 
I get like okay. uh, we, you know we've not had a glass in a while with the water really improved it this much. That's yeah. correct. I get uh, green tea and honey now. Green oh, tea. I like your green, green tea. tea now. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll grab that. Green tea. Yeah. You know I'll what I mean? A little bit of that because it's got that herbaly kind of quality, but it's it's sweet as it's well. Amazing, amazing, much more sweeter it is now yeah. with the water. All right, All right, ready to go? I'll start. All right. So, the, just so you know, not my wheelhouse, <laughs> but not a bad rep representation of, of good scotch. Um, so we start out uh, neat with um, just a light nose, a little alcohol in the nose. You you first sip as you get the I got cereals, um, moving into a little bit of um, butterscotch and then a little bit of bourbon finish, water. Bring it, br bring it up. Bring it up. It bring it up. Six, bring it six, up. Six, the, English, the English teachers love that. Bring it up. Um, brought up the nose. I think it brought more red fruit. I don't. I mean, that's what's coming to my mind. My mind. I don't know if it's truly the case, but uh, it it broadened out mm -hmm. the nose. Um, the finish. I don't know if it changed it much. I got a little more oak once you added the water to it. So for. $80 for an 18-year-old scotch. It's smooth. It's definitely, there's no harshness to this at all. There's nothing that would like, oh man, I just I can't do this. Um, all right, where do I go with this? Um, I'm going to go 2-5. <laughs> you, know, you knew that already? I'm going to go 2-5 on this because it, it's, it's a fairly affordable scotch, but it's just not, it's not like, oh wow, I need that on my bar. So I'm going to say definitely it's worth tasting, but 2-5 for me. Hmm. Well, you know, this is a perfect example of why we do this. Um, you really have to take in all the factors of our personal palettes, our thoughts yep. on this, the price, the availability of it, the years or non-years, all this stuff, right? And if you add all that up together, this really does, uh, if you're looking for that space side taste and feel, this really does line up nicely for an 18 year old very affordable scotch i think it's very well worth the money if that is your palate we've yeah. talked about it it's very floral yep. it's very light it's got some sweet the, the water really really does improve it so if you're going to get this i think personally you should add a drop of water to it right. obviously try it off for yourself <laughs> um, but for the money for sure you should you should definitely buy that if this is in your wheelhouse per se yeah okay um i think uh to be fair in that regard, I have to give it a three from an even amount. Now, I don't think it's that complex. My personal palate, I'd probably go a little lower, but because of the money and everything else, I think it's worth the three. Okay, good. good call. Drew, I'm gonna agree with you on a lot of that stuff. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's really hard, number one, to find an 18 year old scotch that's sub 100 bucks. Exactly. Really hard. And normally, if you do find one, they're not very good. Um, <laughs> there's a reason why they're inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, this one, however, I, I think it's a great representation of a space side. It's got all of those space side characteristics that I think of when I think of Spay. Is it everybody's wheelhouse? No, it's not. I mean, if you don't like lighter, you know, fruitier whiskeys, you're not going to enjoy this. Yeah. But if that's kind of your thing, this is a great glass, um, especially for the price point. It held up great to water, which a lot of lighter yeah. scotches can't handle. Right. Um, it was it was okay neat. Maybe it behind. was a little bit tight and neat. I think the alcohol kind of covered up some of the subtler flavors. I really like it with a couple of drops in it. Um, it's got that green tea, uh, like a lemon rind and and honey quality to it. Um, there's an astringent characteristic that I can't quite put my uh, finger on that I'm going to be thinking about for yeah. a while. But a really fun glass. Um, you know, it, it's it. Overly complex, no, but I think you get your money's worth out of it for 80 bucks. So I'm going to give it a three as well. Yeah. All right, wow. All right, so can't disagree with anything you guys said as far as the nose and the palate, right? I may may have gotten a little bit different smells out of it. I, I think we all said bread, and the more every couple times I got more of a sourdough type of bread. Oh. Um, but I think the water definitely helped out uh, as far as the nose and the palate. Um, it didn't hurt it by any means. It's not complex. You're not going to, you know, get you know a thousand different things out of this. It's not going to blow your mind. Nope. Price point's great. It's um, it's your atypical space side. So if you want to give a, a glass to somebody that's visiting, you want to know what a spay tastes like. Give them a glass of this. It's fine. A, a Eighty spay. bucks. Yeah. And you're not going to feel bad about it. You're not going to. I mean, it's it's <clears> a decent <throat> glass to have. I'm going to say two five because it's just right there in that point. I was at two, 
neat. Um, and the water brought that up that half point. I got to I got to say that much. So, I mean, it's it's an interesting glass as far as there's still I want to go back for a little bit more, but it's not blowing my mind saying, oh my God, everybody needs to go out. It's just a decent 18. I mean, yeah. it's, the interesting point too here is is the ABV as well. I mean, it, it's it's pretty and high, there's, and there's value in that. Yeah, there really yeah, is. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. it holds it great. I did not have it in the nose whatsoever. I did have it on the palate originally, but when you just put water on that, it went away. I mean, so it, it's like the perfect. I tell you, the longer we do this, guys, the more I appreciate distilleries that are bottling at higher ABVs. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, I think right. if this was a 40. It, it wouldn't be the same. It'd be scotch. washed. Yeah. It'd be washed yeah. out. Yeah. There would really be nothing good. to it. Yeah. All right. So, so what do we got? You did uh, two five. Two five. I got three. 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 So two, two, seven, five, two five. Two five. Three. Three. Two, two seven, seven five. five baby. Average. Pretty good. Glad we're eight. eighteen. Hey, thanks for sending this to us. We appreciate it. Um, you know what? Every Thursday we are live. Subscribe right now. There's a button down there. Click it. If you Click will. the bell with the, the notification so you know when we go live. Absolutely. Yeah, that's even yeah. better. Because that's um, every week, and who would want to miss that? Right. You know, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Giveaways, uh, pull up else. the chair, pour a dram, and join us on Thursday nights. Love to have you. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers. Thanks.